Hi Special Agents, Commander G back again with some more reasoning practice. Let's take a look at the different type of questions you might see in a Special Agent task all about time. Okay, so let's do some real quick revision of things that we will need to remember before we have a go at these questions. Now telling the time is tricky. All I need you to do is have a watch of them, take some of this in and don't worry, we'll be doing lots more of these in class. Okay, here are four analogue clocks. We use clocks to tell the time. Clocks have a big hand, the minute hand, and a little hand, the hour hand. And that's how we measure time in hours, minutes and seconds. Okay, look at the yellow clock. The minute hand is at 12 and the hour hand is at 1. When the big hand's at 12, I tell myself it's... That's it, o'clock. The yellow clock says one o'clock. Well done if you remembered that on your own. Okay, now look at the clock with the red minute hand and the green hour hand. The minute hand is at three and the hour hand is at seven. When the big hand's at three, it says to me, that's it, that's quarter past seven. Well done quarter past seven because the minute hand has moved a quarter of a way around the circle of the clock face well done okay let's look at the orange clock now the minute hand has gone halfway around and is pointing at the six and the hour hand has gone past the ten can you remember what time that clock says listen again to the description the minute hand has gone halfway around the clock and the hour hand is past the ten Big hands at six. This is my trick. It's, that's it, half past ten. Because the minute hand has moved half of the way round the clock. Fantastic. So, o'clock, quarter past and half past. The last clock is the last time that we cover quite a lot in year two. The minute hand is pointing at nine and the hour hand is pointing almost at one. Can you remember what time we call it when the big hand's at nine? Okay, so it has moved three quarters of the way around the clock. We don't call it three quarters past. We see how many quarters are left, don't we? And we call this time quarter to one. Now, if this is really tricky for you, go back on the channel and look at some of the quizzes about time. And please don't panic. We're going to work on these together. Okay, well done. So when the big hand's at 12, we tell ourselves it's o'clock. It's o'clock. Big hands at three, it says to me, I'm quarter past, I'm quarter past. When the big hands at six, this is my trick, I've gone halfway round, I'm half past, I'm half past. When the big hands at nine, this is the time, it's quarter two, it's quarter two, it's quarter two, the next o'clock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Well done. Now, telling time gets more complicated and we might need, we might be asked questions about this again please don't worry have a listen see what you can remember we're going to do lots of this in class now when the minute hand the larger hand is pointing to any of the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 or 12 we can read this to the nearest five minutes we count around the clock for the minutes passed in fives so when the big hands at 12 it's o'clock and that means no minutes passed and then we move around the clock so no minutes passed five minutes passed ten minutes passed 15 minutes passed or quarter past 20 minutes passed 25 minutes passed 30 minutes passed or half past there are 60 minutes in an hour and half of 60 is 30 now once we get to the pink side of the clock it gets a little bit more tricky and you'll learn lots about this in year three so don't panic too much okay if you can remember some of it special agents then we'll be really pleased with you and we don't count how many minutes passed anymore we count how many minutes it's going to take us to get back to 12 to the next o'clock so the big big hands at seven we call that 25 minutes to then we go to eight 20 minutes to big hands at nine you've already met that time we call that quarter to and 60 divided into quarters, 60 divided by 4 is 15. So when it's quarter to, it means there are 15 minutes left to the next old clock. When the big hand's at 10, we call it 10 minutes to. And the big hand's at 11, we call it 5 minutes to. 
have a good look and pause this come back to this whenever you need it okay let's have a go at some of the questions okay now lots of the questions you will see on the special agent task will ask you to tell the time and they'll give you more than one choice okay so what time does the clock show tick the correct box first tip look at the position of the hands first try and work out which one is the minute hand the longer hand and which one is the hour hand now i can see that the minute hand is at six it's gone halfway around that clock and the hour hand is past the eight half past eight is that a time that we can see let's have a look it's gone halfway around so the big hands at six we call it half past and the hour hand has just gone past the eight so well done if you knew before mrs g that that was half past eight fantastic okay and sometimes it shows you two clocks but you have to read the question very carefully so the swimming pool opens it's got a time there and closes at a time the question only wants us to read the clock for this bit at what time does the pool open so which clock is about opening times there it is what time is this clock showing us where is the minute hand it's gone halfway round and the hour hand is pointing past the nine pause the video and tell someone at home what time that clock says halfway past the nine half past nine well done if you knew that one fantastic draw a tick on the clock which shows half past three so this wants you to read those words half that maths word past the three we've done a few halves now where does the big hand go when it's gone halfway around the clock that's it it's at six now we've got one two three clocks where the big hand is pointing at six the minute hand we're going to have to look for the hour hand going past the three past the three half past three did you spot it well done if you did it can't be the clock above it because that says half past two fantastic now this time we've got a clock and a label match each clock to the time it shows top tip start with the ones you know first there's three clocks and three labels so it's a good tip if you're not sure of one of them join it up to the one that the label that's left okay but i can teach you how to tell the time on these so the first clock the big hand the minute hand at nine and the little hand the hour hand is pointing to four when the big hand's at nine this is the time it's quarter two it's quarter two it's quarter two the next o clock quarter two four is that one of our choices yes it is yes it is let's draw the label to quarter to four well done let's read the other two labels 25 past four and quarter past four don't panic let's check that middle clock the middle clock the minute hand the big hand is at three and the hour hand is at four quarter past four now we've got one clock left and one label left 25 past four do you remember that mrs g said when you count around the clock face in minutes in fives that will help us tell the time so o clock is 0 5 10 15 20 25 past big hand 25 past 4 and join it up okay well done and if you knew one or two of those you need to be proud of yourself telling the time is really tricky special agents one clock shows a time between three o'clock and five o'clock so a time between in the middle of three and five okay so let's look at the clocks we've got this one 12 o'clock this one big hands at 12 it's o'clock six o'clock this one two o'clock ten o'clock and four o'clock so think of the numbers twelve six four ten and two which of those numbers is in between three and five three and five that's it four o'clock would be in between three and five wouldn't it so you need to tick four o'clock well done look at this clock so let's read this clock first the big hands at six it's gone halfway around half past one okay what time will the clock show two 
hours later. So we need to add two to half past one. Okay, let's work out what that time is before we search for the clocks. Two hours later, add two hours. So one add two is, that's it, three. Okay, so we're looking for half past three. If we had two things up and counted on in hours, half past one in our heads, half past two, half past three. Can you spot the clock which says half past three? Halfway round and the hour hand has gone past the three. That's it, well spotted, half past three, fantastic. Number 11, sometimes the questions will be to see if you know how many minutes are in an hour and might not be about a clock face at all. Kemi goes to four clubs each week. Which club lasts the longest? Circle it. Swimming, 45 minutes. Art, two hours. Music, 75 minutes. Drama, one hour. What do we know? Let's remind ourselves of what we know about hours. So there's 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in one hour. So let's look at art is two hours. Six add six is 12. I can use that to work out that 60 add 60, 60 minutes add another 60 minutes is the number 120. Okay, music is 75, that's fine. Drama is one hour. I need to turn that into a number so then I can find the biggest number, the longest period of time. So there are 60 minutes in one hour. So now we've got swimming at 45 minutes, art 120 minutes, music 75 minutes and drama 60 minutes. Which is the longest period of time? Which is the biggest number? That's right, art is the longest lesson. It lasts 120 minutes. Did you see we have to do a little bit of working out and using what we already knew, special agents? Fantastic. Okay, tick the clock face that shows 10 past 12. Now this is a bit tricky. I don't want you to be worried. This is a challenge. 10 past 12. So the hour, the hour hand is going to be near the 12, the small hand, okay? So I can see one there, okay? And then the large hand, the minute hand, needs to be pointed to the number 10 when we count around the clock in fives. But we only do that for large hand, zero, five, 10. 10 past 12. It can't be this one. Big hands at 12, I tell myself it's 10 o'clock. So you can rule out the ones that you can read. You know that that says 10 o'clock and not 10 past 12, okay? This clock, big hands at 12, I tell myself it's two o'clock. It can't be that one, can it? So straight away, we would be left with these two. That's trying to trick you to see if you can't read these clocks. Okay, so 10 past two, sorry, 10 past 12. Okay, so zero, five past 12, 10 past 12, it would be that clock. Okay, well done if you were able to have a good try at that question. Draw the minute hand on the clock to show 25 past eight. So they've done the hour, you can see it's gone past the eight. This is seeing if we can count around the clock again in fives and draw the, lo the large hand, the minute hand. Okay, so what have we learned so far? We need to get to the number 25 using the numbers on the clock face. So 12 is zero, let's count around in fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25 there we go and all we need to do then is draw a large hand 25 past 8 fantastic okay now did this is digital time you've probably got an alarm clock or a watch at home where it's not got a big hand and a little hand and it's got the numbers now we've not done lots of work on digital time in class we are going to be doing this so in digital time the hour comes first and then the minutes, the larger number, comes next. Sita's watch shows 3.30. Harry's watch shows the same time. Draw the hands on his watch. So it's going to be something past 3. Something past 3. Now, if we count around the clock in fives, we can work out where the minute hand will go. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Ah, half past 
3 because 30 is half of 60 minutes. So we need to put the big hand at 6 and the hour hand past the 3. Half past 3. Okay, special agents, don't worry too much about this. I just want you to have learned even a little bit from this training video. We're going to hit this lots more in class. Well done, guys. Leave me a like if you were able to answer some of those. Bye for now.